So let's begin. So I wanted to talk real quickly about um, our health and our melanin and the benefits of just simple things that we can do, how it can kind of like purge us and give us a higher frequency of energy. Like the reason why I thought about it is because I'm right here on the beach and they have so many healing microbes in this air right here that I'm breathing in the oxygen that I'm breathing and the water, the salt and the minerals from the water, the sun shining, you know, increasing the frequency of, um, of, of melanin production. And it is, she's fine, she's fine, babe. And, um, and I wanted to tell this to you because just like in the biblical text, and I go to the biblical text in because of the simple fact that the Christ conscious one is us in the physical reality. And so I'd like to correlate things to the biblical text, not that I'm religious at all. But if you think about it, in the allegory text about the story of Jesus, Jesus went on the mount to pray. Okay, think about going on the mount. If you're going on a mount to pray, you're at a higher level, closer to the sun, right? Okay. We are children of the sun. It says, even in the biblical text, the Lord thy God is a sun and shield. As you in, that's not a typo in that biblical text. Go look it up. As you in energy. So, all of this here, the physical reality, is really just energy, frequency, and vibration. But there's simple things that we can do to increase our frequency, like Jesus did. He was that allegory story was really telling us what to do. It's like a roadmap, really, to higher Christ consciousness. Um, so look, I draw um, children to me. That's what the name was saying. Leela, come here. That little, little girl just sitting here staring at me. But anyway, <laughs> so him going on the mount is one thing him fasting and praying so remember like so as far as the fasting part when you stop eating like like today i haven't ate anything i've been charging up off the sun i drank water that was it and it's what time did i say it's 12 20 where i am and i've been up since six o'clock this morning but i've been sitting here drinking water i went in the water where they have minerals inside of the water that i went into and i came and i sat and i recharged under the sun they didn't eat so basically i'm not on the fast i'm just not hungry i'm a vegan and i understand that all that accumulation of eating like they tell you in the physical reality you eat three meals a day breakfast lunch and dinner that is all not so not true it's far from the truth because when Jesus in the biblical text was fasting often. Fasting, um, when you fast, it's like you're clearing up your gut. Your gut is your energy network, your power source. So you're clearing up your gut. And in the physical reality, the, you know, doctors will tell you the gut is where 80, 70 to 80 percent of your immunity lies. You clean up the gut, you clean up your entire body. Because then, now since your immunity lies there, now if nothing else is um, being put in it, the, the body has a chance to heal itself while you are not eating it has a chance to um replenish those white blood cells and it has a chance to allow you to you know have a bowel movement and having that bowel movement is going to release and have clean energy no stagnated no old mucus and stuff so now you're being recharged and renewed at a cellular level just because you went on a fast and also when we go to pray prayer when you go to prayer Prayer is simply just like be a stillness. Whether you praying or you be um, in meditation, it's a stillness of mind. That is a stress reliever too. That increases your frequency too. So, so these are things in the physical reality. Simply being at the beach, around this live water, breathing this good air, these minerals from the salt, taking a break from eating so many foods. You know, we get on commercials bombarded by burgers and extra cheese on nachos and it, 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 and it, it makes us want and long for those things so we could obtain this glutton and spirit but that is so far from what we need to be we need to be purged from all of those heavy meats and diet so we could electrify our already electric body because remember we're God hey baby remember we're God in the physical reality trying to remember who we are and in remembering who we are we have to forget or let that old gluttony spirit that old person die out so we can be renewed so I wanted hold on one second what you say baby where y'all at okay I'm gonna come over there thank you so 
I'm sorry about that. So anyway, it's simple things like that that we can do to help us. But being that we have some darker hue and lighter hue beings, being that we have darker hue and lighter hue beings, some of us cannot tolerate the sun as much as others can. And so even, even not just dark and light, when you think about it, we have older and younger too. Like they have a little newborn baby right here underneath the umbrella that can't tolerate the, the light or the sun too much or elderly people. And, and so like elderly people, some of them can be so toxic that the sun, because they have so many toxins inside of them, it's like they're being purged and it really weakens them. So a little tip for the babies and for the older people, the palm of your hands or the sole of your feet. The palm of your hands or the sole of your feet or, or I'm talking about, you know, especially if you're black or uh, eat old melanin mean. That is like an, an, um, a charging station, just like you have a cell, uh, one of those house phones, a cordless phone that you put on a mount to charge. Well, you could charge up by the sun by putting your the palm of your hand, the brighter, you know, uh, part of your uh, hand or the soles of your feet in the sun, and you could charge up just like that. And so it wouldn't be weakening them. They could get a good 15 minute charge of the sun because they have so many minerals, so much a life force inside of that sun. And in any, even if they're on the beach, just putting their feet in the water. If they can't walk over that, just getting a little bit of water in a cup to pour on them because that is a life force. And more importantly than anything, mental. All is mental. So a stress reliever is not worried about fear, not worried about no COVID right now. You know, just being, being like a child at heart, being playful. Let the little boy or the little girl come out of you. Because you know what? At the end of the day, even in the biblical text, they tell you in the biblical text, if you can't come as a child, you, you can't really enter into the kingdom. You know, that you got to have that pure heart, so to speak, you know? It, it, it is hard when when you when you have all those thoughts and and you got all that worry and you got all that those judgments and you got all of that um those roles of the, the the roles that you play in this avatar suit you know you know you're a judge now you have this integrity and you're a ceo and you gotta pay play this role and so a lot of those people even doctors per se some of them get so depressed after they've even got into the career that they say that they always want they be so pressed they into um i mean depressed they into medicine that some of the people ain't getting healed some people are dying and they're dealing with that mentally every day they be so depressed man they stress out and and you, you you taxing your body so when you're stressed out watching news and and and, and covid and and you're going to work every day you don't feel free you can't afford to be a free energetic being and so pulling away from those type of things and just and not having judgment about yourself you know not being your worst critic not being so hard on yourself because when you do those things you're stressing yourself and stress is a silent killer because it weakens your immune system too this is why i'm talking about stress or well, this is always healthy well that is the number one way we can weaken our immune system we worry about a flu we worry about covid a lot of people in the physical reality are bringing that you draw those things to you energetically when you worry about them because that that type of frequency of fear it does create it don't create what you want but it does create so i just wanted to give some some helpful tips because renewing of the blood in the biblical text turning the water into wine is really an ascension deal that we must undergo and cleaning our temple because the the body is to be the temple of god of purging our temple turning water into wine because this whole entire journey is about becoming like the christ conscious one and then when you get to that point of all knowing greater works shall you do but you gotta start with your mental you gotta start with your heart you gotta start with your diet you gotta start with some way it ain't no one way it's your way you create your own reality but i just want to leave that for the the, the melanated being and any even feel melanated being because they're we're, it's an illusion of separation i say melanin because because I, in the physical reality, in this little avatar suit, am a black woman, and I know and I've studied it more than the field of melanin. You know, field melanin beings, they get in the sun and they can't really tolerate it. They can't really see, um, you know, with their lighter hued eyes in the sun. And, you know, they, they, layer, they layer up with their um, sunscreen and things. And I haven't experienced that. So I don't, I don't really be wanting to talk about things that I haven't experienced, but myself, I just see that they, they handle and, and, and you know, 
do things a little bit different than me. So that's the only reason why I put melanin on here. There's no, no, you know, ill feelings toward them because all is God. If you step back and look at the greater picture, it's just an illusion of separation. <laughs> you know, God is all. So, anyway, love you, sister. Oh, thank you. Love you back, baby. I appreciate you being here. So I just wanted to leave that. I'm about to go catch up with my people they they even went down there to get on the boats or something and get in this water again but i had so much energy today i did two lives i just feel so good out here and, and, and how you feel that's before i go that's the last thing how you feel matters baby how you feel matters see that little girl that came over here that little girl been eyeballing me ever since i got here just because you have an aura your energy your aura draws people to you if you have a toxic energy it's going to repel people away but if you have a, that good aura people just drawn to you this water is drawing me so i'm about to go get back in the in the water baby y'all have a happy mother's day and be blessed from my heart to yours be loved because you are loved